let me tell you a story about why I picked up a bike again and why this bike specifically and uh, what all uh, process I went through in test riding all the other options that are there in the market and um, the mistakes that I didn't want to repeat what I did when I picked up the previous bike. Yes, that's right. I changed my bike and I upgraded it to something better. Let me explain. So let's take it like this. Um, I'll divide it into three parts as to what I really wanted and uh, why I gave up my Java 42 and thirdly what were my options and what all did I try before buying this. First, uh, let me explain what I wanted. I wanted a classic bike and I didn't want any kind of like this uh, roadster, street bike kind of a thing, no Apaches, no Pulsars or anything. I specifically wanted a classic bike because even when I picked up the previous bike and now I do have a long term goal that I want to pick up a adventure bike, a good adventure bike on a long term. Uh, it need not be a big adventure bike but definitely a good adventure bike. So I didn't want two bikes in the same category. So that kind of outright ruled out a bike like KTM 390 or KTM 250 or even for that matter the uh, BMW 310 GS. I did try out the Expulse 200 4V but uh, somehow the bike is so tiny and I am so huge it, it almost looked like a lollipop. So <laughs> I feel that I don't want to embarrass myself when I am riding on the road. So I kind of like put, put that out of the equation. But first let's get the big elephant out of the room. Why I actually uh, gave away my Java 42. It was not an overnight decision for sure and it was not really like one specific reason which I gave away. In fact, there are five of them and I'll explain each and every one of them in detail. So please be warned that it's a slightly lengthy video, especially this part, which is why I gave away Java 42. Oh yeah, one thing. Yeah, yes, you, the Java fanboys. Um, if you are one of them and um, I would suggest that you skip this part of the video where I tell why I gave my Java 42 because uh, you might not be very happy listening to some or all of the reasons so better skip this part and come back to the main part. Now when it comes to why I gave away my Java 42 there are five specific reasons uh, let me go through them one by one. Point one is somehow I felt that the bike was not what I really wanted and if you have noticed uh, over a period of two plus years of me having that bike I modified it a lot I mean I accessorized it and I modified it a lot to get what I want and at some point of time I felt that am I overdoing things am I expecting too much from this bike or something like that and in fact one of the biggest mistake leading to all these things is uh, I <coughs> God, I think I, I I admit that I got a little bit more uh, emotionally connected to this whole Java brand as such because of this whole Mysore uh, link uh, to this Java brand. Uh, I mean, no more now. It's in Pune right now. But um, the moment it was released, the moment it was announced, I went ahead and booked it. On the last day of the booking, I went ahead and booked it. And believe me, it took me 10 long months to get the bike. And during the course of this 10 long months, I never bothered to go and test ride this bike. I mean, it, it was my own decision. I thought like, okay, the first time I'll ride, my, I'll ride the Java, it will be my own bike. But just imagine waiting for 10 long months. Uh, in fact, like my, my daughter came much sooner than that. Anyway, forget about it. So, after waiting for so long and picking up this bike, somehow it didn't feel complete to me. The bike, I don't know, it was like I was expecting too much or I had planned too much using the bike and the bike was not what it was supposed to be. And I'm trying to make it a scrambler, I'm trying to make it a tourer, I'm trying to make it all sort of things. Anyway, that was one of the reasons why I kind of started feeling the disconnect with my bike. Point two is... But the bike never gave me the confidence that it is a very good, reliable bike. Neither 
for me or any of the hundreds and thousands of people who have already uh, who had already uh, picked up the bike because i was a part of uh, many forums or like call it as whatsapp groups which i am no longer now and um, many many of them in that groups had one or the other issue um, they had issues with the engine they had issues with the braking they had issues with this issues with that and so many issues in fact luckily i did not have anything like that but i don't know if it was psychological or whatever every time i took out the bike for a short or a long ride or a breakfast ride or anything psychologically it was trying to play on me and every time i finished doing a ride or when i'm halfway through my ride i felt like as if uh, the bike is not refined and i'm whatever i have started becoming conscious about these engine issues and that this and all those stuff so that was trying to play a lot on my mind uh, the seat comfort the engine stuff the vibrations everything it was kept on bothering me a lot point 3 is everything from the dealership till the service or anything the brand itself i don't know i never got any kind of positive vibes at all but the dealership was not that great i will tell you a couple of instances which happened which made me feel so guilty about having taken it from this dealership but again uh, there are sayings in in our local language which states that if there is nothing good whatever you have that itself is good uh, apparently all the other dealerships were worse than this now the service center was pathetic i don't know if, we, if they were trained well enough to handle customers forget about handling the bike or understanding the customers or understanding the bike and this is a new bike new bike in the market new bike from the company everything so they didn't even know what the customer is trying to explain and what is he trying to get it sorted i'm not telling it happened with everyone but at least with me i realized that few times when i told them i am observing such stuff in my uh, bike they never acknowledge properly uh, there are few times i was getting like a jerk or something like that in the bike and i was trying to explain them they are like no sir chain is loose no sir the fuel is bad all such things so they were not really understanding either. and it's not that one service center is like that i have tried three different service centers across bangalore and i never had a good experience with any of them okay i'm i'm trying to be very honest uh, i don't know if uh, the folks who have uh, who own java uh, acknowledge this or they uh, agree to my words but at least i don't think so uh, any of the service centers that are there in bangalore i mean i don't want to name any service center here in this video but again I, the service centers are not very well equipped enough if that's something which i can confidently tell point 4 is about the brand itself uh if you remember the last video i ever made on this channel while riding a java 42 was again about the company uh, clpl classic legends private limited about their vision about their new bikes and all the stuff somehow i was not really happy with the way the company decided on splitting into two probably as of now which is java and dsd i mean they are uh, rather i'm not call it as splitting that, that's my bad having two different sub brands which is uh, java and dsd and uh, they are taking a uh, engine which is there in java which is java para they are taking the body of uh, java 42 and calling it as dsd uh, roadster or whatever and again they make a scrambler which never worked like a scrambler and they made an adventure bike which look like some other popular uh, adventure bike in the market already but having said that my main concern what i expressed even in that video is i could not understand what is their long term goal i mean uh, what do i get out of it and all or will i keep upgrading their bikes like as if i am upgrading my iphone or anything no it's not about that but at least it will give a confidence to the buyers about how reliable or how customer oriented the company is like if you see a company 
releasing a new bike and then probably year on year or once in two years going ahead and fixing the issues which is there in the previous version and releasing a new bike or probably adding new things like i mean java did that in uh, java 42 2.1 they introduced alloy wheels and they fixed a lot of issues the ground clear and stuff and all those things that is fine but now what next i i was not able to predict that uh, with the type of uh, move that uh, clpl made with sd uh, they took something which i thought that should have been released in java itself which is a scrambler and the adventure and no i mean again i don't see any reason why i have to break my head on it now but i don't know what is what's next for java 42 what's next for uh, uh, java classic or what will be the next versions of the roadster scrambler and the adventure probably the adventure will have some tweaks or uh, some improvements on all those things if at all if there is anything needed but again that kind of a confidence i am not getting it from cnpl and that was not really motivating if you see any other company they keep releasing the same bike after doing some kind of a refinement or improvement or addition deletion kind of a thing be it any company be it royal enfield be it ktm or anyone they keep doing that so that kind of a thing did not happen here point 5 is our very own fan boys which is what bothered me up to one extent now if you call me what is this whole fan boy topic that i'm talking uh, as i said some time back uh, there were quite a lot of uh, whatsapp groups that i was a part of and lot of people in those groups either who are part of it or who are running it are hardcore java fan boys or hardcore classic legends fan boys like i mean as if they behaved as if java was made because they told java had to be uh, revived or anything and clpl hurt them and they got it back and if at all if you tell anything against the bike or against the company or against anything they used to fume like anything like i have seen all these uh, uh, windows versus mac or apple versus uh, uh, android kind of a debates where people get very personal and all those stuff but here forget about even bringing in java versus royal enfield even talking a little bit against java itself with its own reference people used to get angry like crazy and there were a lot of problems i told i told you a lot of people face problems and instead of helping them get the answers or solving the issues or collaborating or anything all that they were trying to do was protect the brand rather than help riders get a better experience now there was one instance wherein i for whatever good or bad reason i decided that i will uh, go ahead and collate all the issues and send it to um, uh, the java team or the clpl team so that they can get a consolidated uh, uh, list of all the issues uh, that the customers are facing so i created a spreadsheet which captured all the issues what type of thing the rider has done to sort it right now and all those things i tried to do that out of nowhere i get a call from the java sales manager or someone from south asking me why i'm trying to do that now i was wondering like how come he got to know now what has happened is there were certain fan boys here in certain uh, whatsapp group who had contacts with few people just because they were invited for few rides and all those things they had contacts so the moment i tried to create the spreadsheet and all those stuff they sent that link to the java management and even the uh, dealerships and telling that this guy is going ahead and creating all these things looks like he is working for a competitor company and all those stuff they started creating a news about In fact, I even got call from my own dealership from where I got my bike, and I told them, "Boss, you have seen me. You have, like, I I own a Java. I, like, I'm not mad to be from a corporate company to come and spend uh, like two and a half lakhs here buying your bike and doing something against them." Uh, they got convinced. Even the sales manager got convinced. But eventually, what happened is, I just lost trust on the people who are there in this group. Like, why did they have to go and do this? 
why did somebody have to go and tell that a guy from whatsapp group is creating all uh, data collection activities to send it to competitor company like I, that was never my intent just because he did not have any issues uh, does not mean that he should go and do something like this he could have just shut up or like he could have told don't do it i would rather keep kept quiet when i started doing it nobody opposed and eventually when i uh, when it was half way through or whatever i get a call from java telling like blah 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 stuff anyway all these things made a huge difference to me the meteor and this one this particular bike which is the honda highness i also had the cb350 rs in my mind and while i was doing all these things uh, two new bikes uh, uh, came up which is the 411 scram from uh, re and also the hunter by the time i had tried the hunter i had already done a test drive of the highness and the rs once and uh, i had done enough uh, reading enough watching youtube reviews and all those things looking at all the limitations plus point minus point everything but the one thing was very uh, sure that honda engine quality is top notch and i'm not telling you just because i own it now but go and ask anybody who does not even have a honda or had a honda for a short or long time in their life they will just swear by the whole aspect that honda engine quality and the refinement is top notch now that was something which i was uh, proved on the very first set of test rides that i did firstly why i didn't go with the hunter 350 as soon as hunter came out i was so excited that i almost eliminated uh, the uh, scram right away like i mean somehow the images the spy images you, you know how long it took for the hunter to come out but uh, during the process and during the launch that i saw the pictures and all especially the white and blue Oh my god I fell in love with the looks of that bike but uh, when I actually went and saw the bike on the very first day I sat on it I somehow felt that that bike is not for me and it's like it was good for youngsters it was good for somebody who's getting into this 300 350 cc segment for the very first time and it was more of like that a ride in the city like as if you own the city is that kind of a thing like what this KTM guys do so it was more of that kind of a bike which i felt was not suiting my personality so i did a test ride it was very good bike it, it the, the power the weight the agility everything was very good but somehow i was not able to convince myself to go ahead and book the bike and wait for a month and then pick it up and again on another note the bike was a slightly smaller length wise uh, which kind of uh, put off my wife she said she said like okay if at all if we both are going together somewhere i'll feel uncomfortable because the seat is too short now why did i go for the meteor 350 meteor is one gem of a bike uh, one of the first bikes in the j platform it's very good and uh, tried out this meteor from a couple of my colleagues um, It is. It's a good bike, and again, I took one more uh, test ride uh, uh, at a dealership near my house. The bike was good; everything was fine. But I somehow felt, considering the fact that my primary requirement now for this bike is commute, city commute, I felt the bike was a little bit too heavy. At 200 plus kgs, I think it's definitely one of the heavier bikes compared to either a Java 42 or a Honda Highness, which is around 180 kilograms. It was heavy, and the Meteor is more of like a cruiser style format, wherein the foot pegs are forward set. That is perfect for long rides and such stuff. But when you're riding in the city, when you have to keep, um, you have to keep on uh, keeping your legs down and. probably push her on the bike using a leg i tried to do the test drive in a place where which had a little bit of traffic and i outright felt that no this is not the type of bike i want to get stuck in a traffic with um, i mean let me tell you again like meteor is a good bike but that was not a bike that i wanted i mean i didn't want it to do the same mistake as i told you before i didn't wanted to buy a bike and repent that this is not the type of bike that i want so meteor got eliminated 
Finally, why I skipped the CB350 RS? I went to the dealership again. Uh, luckily, I have a big wing dealership uh, pretty close to my house now, so I need not have to go to the uh, the big wing which is there in the city center. So I took for a test drive again. Uh, this time around, I asked them like if I can go for a slightly longer round, and it was a weekday afternoon, so they told it's okay, you can go, sir. So I tried to ride it fast, slow, in the traffic everything actually i was very 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 attracted towards the look of the uh, cb350 rs it looks sporty it it has a kind of slight kind of that scrambler feel and all those stuff the foot packs are also slightly backside the big tires everything looked very good the seat in fact is it looks lovely but i wanted something which is comfortable i wanted something which is like i just sit i ride I go to the destination or say like I go to office or I come back from office. I didn't want it to feel that, okay, I, I'm tired now. I'm like sick and tired of like riding in the city in this position and all those things. A um, lot of people in the reviews did tell that the CB350 RS is not a type of bike which you want to use it for long rides or anything like that because it will give you lower back pain. So. It took me a few days to convince myself to forget about the RS. Then it was all left to this one, the CB350 Highness. And um, especially when it comes to this particular model, there are actually three models in the Highness itself, Deluxe, Deluxe Pro and Anniversary Edition. This is kind of a, like a top end model. Um, you get few features by default when you pick up the bike itself. So I left that decision both which model and which color to my wife and um, what we eventually ended up picking up was this um, Honda CB350 Highness Anniversary Edition Hunter Green. I started liking it more uh, every time I ride on it. Um, I'm not telling you that I did not do that with the Java in the initial days but the whole thing about the refinement and the smoothness and the feel that it gives, the positive vibes that it gives when you're riding this bike is very high. So as of the day of making this video, my bike has already completed its first service. So, it's, so it was exactly a month back that I got this bike. I delayed making this video because I thought that let me spend that one month, try to understand her a little bit more better before I actually make this video because it should not end up like uh, the Hainas is also one of those bikes which leaves me with the same sour taste that Java 42 left with but it's definitely not the case and that's exactly the reason why I'm making this video. If you have any specific questions about either the Java 42 or the uh, new Honda CB350 Highness that I've got, uh, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. I'll try to answer as much as possible. I'll be back with more videos about the CB350 also. Um, not many modifications planned. In fact, like I don't want to go overboard with this one, but I'll try to take it easy, but I'll try to spend more time with her try to understand her better, go places and all those stuff. But I'll keep you along in the journey and uh, thank you so much for watching this pretty lengthy video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mata Sikana. If there are any specific uh, Java fanboys who are out there who saw the complete video and are not justified and are very hurt with my justification, no, I'm really not sorry because eventually I was a sufferer so I don't want to take the defensive path here.